Hey, uh, YouTube, um, it's Jaden. Um, I almost just recorded a whole video not knowing that I had my earbuds uh, plugged in. So I actually have to speak through the the microphone part. And, you know, <clears throat> I didn't have them in my ears, so I recorded like four minutes not realizing. Anyways, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that, um, I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of overdone, but I feel like I overdo it. Because it's another one of them. It's not really, though. It's not really. Because I guess it's more so um, more about my friend rather than what we went through, I guess. Um, I, I guess. So, um, I have this I have this friend, right? Um, I might say his name. I might actually say his name because you know, he, he's very he's very much like me I'm, i don't know i'm holding this gum stick he's very much like me and that he's very inquisitive so he might find out i know that he found out my channel this one day because i remember <laughs> i sent him this one video um not knowing that i i had commented on it so then he found my youtube channel um this was like years ago when i used to be like into really like cringy things you know as i was in like middle school so you know um i mean i'm assuming he's forgotten now um anyways so yeah i think i'm gonna say his name because if anything it's love um i love this man his name is dane uh, i'm not gonna say his full name i'm not gonna say his government because that's just weird but his name is danny daniel um you know and dan you know um and i guess i, I can say I, I've, I guess i've known him since third grade um so really that's almost a whole decade now right because third grade was 2011 i think i think so yeah yeah that's crazy um <clears throat> yeah third grade was 2011 so yeah i've known him for really uh, i mean i guess once this semester starts i've known him for a full decade um and I mean, I guess I didn't know him that much, you know, back then, but like, really this last high school, these last uh, high school years, these, this, these last four years, I'm just trying to say, um, is when we got really close, right? Um, I love him. Um, he, he's a really cool dude. So let me, let me explain. So, you know, we are moving out of, we're moving out of Norristown. <laughs> I'm moving these texts right now. Let me, let me put my phone down. So, we're moving out of Norristown. I did second grade. <clears throat> we're moving out of Norristown. So, and granted, Norristown is a very well-mixed community. It's a very diverse community. Fun well, fact, actually, there's not too many white people, right? It's, it's mainly Hispanic people and black people. So, I'm moving out of, and granted, for context, every school district beforehand has been a very diverse community. Philly was mainly black people. Um, well, I guess Rawway, I don't remember too much about Rawway, but from my, from my understanding, it's a pretty, it's way more diverse than Booth Meeting is, right? So out of Rawway, then Philly, then Norristown, very diverse community, communities, um, I felt all right there. Now we're moving from Norristown to Plymouth Meeting, a place I've never heard of, and I'm taking... Uh, I'm doing third grade there, and little did I know the rest of my semester, you know, I mean, it sounds kind of, not even disrespectful, though, because it's kind of just like, it was on my mind at the time, right, I was seven, not even, I was, yeah, I was seven, so, yeah, I'm thinking every two years we move, so I was thinking, you know, we'd be in Plymouth meeting for like two years, and then we move again, because that's how, that's how it's been for like, all my life from that point, so, I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's it's really whatever, like, at this point, I wasn't even, like, trying to really make friends like that, you know, because I've moved so much. Um, so I was just like, all right. Um, but anyways, so let me, let me actually get on to when we go to school. So I go to school, this place called Ridge Park Elementary, um, and I see a lot of white people. <laughs> I see only white people. Um, not even a Hispanic person, not even an Asian person. Actually, no, there was one Asian person, Timmy. Um, other than that... You know, it's all white people, right? So I'm already feeling very polarized, right? I'm 
like, okay, there's no one that looks like me. So, you know, but I'm not going to say unfortunately, because it's not unfortunate. It's just given the person that I am, you know, I was very, I was extremely nerdy back then. Um, and then third grade was the year that I got glasses. So, I mean, I guess I kind of, I blended in, you know, sort of. But the thing is, I blended in with certain groups of people, right? Um, those people were really only three people. It was the nerdy guy, Ryan, <clears throat> the nerdy guy, Ryan, um, this kid named Danny, and then Danny's friend, Timmy. And then the other transfer students, because in Ridge Park, there was three uh, transfer students in that year, and they were all in the same class. Me, uh, this man named Hayes, and then this man named Luca. Um, I was I was kind of close with Luca, mainly because we were like transfer kids. Like we didn't know anything about the district, so we were like, I guess we're gonna have to learn it together. Um, but I wasn't nearly as close with them as I was with, like Danny, Ryan, and um, Timmy, right? So, you know, as I'm trying to like make my way throughout school, like I can't really find the group of friends. But as I'm trying to do it, there's like this kid named Danny trying to like you know, introduce me to the school and the rest of the white people in the school, right? Let me just say people. I don't have to keep saying white people. Like, you know, like from Plymouth meeting, it's just, that's what it is. So anyway, you know, this kid named Danny introduced me to the rest of the school. Like, I'm like, like I'm a, like, like I'm a tourist, right? He was introducing me to all his friends. He was introducing me to you know, uh, the recess, like, everything that's at recess, like, the, the secret places in the recess, I'm like, hey, this dude is really cool, and for a kid at his age, he was super into, like, sports and such, um, at the time, uh, you know, when moving out of Forestown or Philly, you know, once we lived in Philly, like, kind of, like, Norristown, I was really into, like, you know, all of the Philadelphia, uh, sports teams, so, like, the Eagles, I, I watched a little bit of baseball, it was really the Sixers, and the Eagles, right, and this kid, Danny, he was, like, super, he, he knew, like, everything about every sport, you know, he knew hockey, he knew his basketball, he knew his football, he knew his baseball, it was, like, dude, this, this kid is, like, a genius, uh, but in sports, like, specifically, right, so, you know, those, those, uh, we had trimesters in third grade, I believe, I think so, yeah, so, you know, in the first trimester, I was super close with Danny, um, and we had, you know, and then just third grade happened and, you know, me and Danny were like this, right? Unfortunately, I think he invited me to his house a couple times, something like that. But uh, unfortunately, we never really, like, had any other classes together because third grade was the end of Ridge Park Elementary. Like, we graduated into the 4-5 school, right? I don't know why our school did that, but that's just how it was. So we graduated, and then we went to the 4th and 5th grade school, the 4-5 school. Once we went to the 4-5 school, we didn't have any classes with each other, right? So, but me and Ryan, the other kid, um, we came really close because he was in both my 4th and 5th grade classes. Um, and he was in uh, the Gifted and Talented program at the time. I believe so. I think he was. I could be wrong. I forget. But... I just remember me and him were still really close. So that was the four or five school. And, you know, I'm really, I guess I'm just giving like the exposition. So four or five school happened and me and Danny, were, we kind of fell off because we weren't like, it's not that like we weren't close to begin with. We were very close to begin with. It's just, you know, you don't see each other for two years. And it's like, you know, we weren't, you know, we couldn't just get back into it like that. Right. Um. Then I remember middle school, I took this class called uh, game design. It was like game design or like game creation or something like that, where we had to create a game. Um, I remember that me and Danny, we were in that class, but like I said, you know, it's been too long, so we weren't nearly as close. Like, I remember he sat all the way in the back. He was a troublemaker. I'm not even going to lie. Danny is a trouble. He was a, like, I don't, I don't remember him being a troublemaker in like third grade, but as soon as I like. <clears throat> remember sitting with him like in sixth and seventh grade he was he was a troublemaker you know <laughs> he <laughs> he's a interesting kid so 
I'm saying kid, he's older than me, but, um, so, you know, middle school happened, and then unfortunately, after seventh grade, that's when I decided to take online school, so, not only did I completely fall out with, you know, just him, it was him and every other one of my friends in that brick and mortar, so, after that happened, then, you know, I'm in online school, I forget how to speak to people, you know, and then, during the end of, like, 10th grade, that's when I'm like, okay, I need to, like, go back to society and remember how to talk, you know, and so I decided to take this, like, uh, summer class, or not summer class, it was a summer camp at the, um, at the community center back there, um, I take this, I take this, um, I take the, the summer camp, little did I know, he went to the summer camp, so I remember I was talk. I was, I was, I wasn't really, uh, feeling the summer camp, because, again, it was, like, my first time learning how to, like, speak to people, um, it was really weird, you know, and there was this, uh, there was this one girl, her name was Anaya, I think, um, you know, and it was, like, she, I knew that she was kind of, like, into me, but, like, I didn't know how to talk back, so it would just be, like, she would say whatever she would do, and then I would just be on my phone looking like this, and I'd just be, like, okay, <laughs> and, you know, it was just like that, um, but then, I guess, around, like, halfway into the summer camp, I remember Danny came up to me, and he was, like, hey, are you Jaden, and I was, like, yeah, yeah, I am, I was, like, that's crazy, someone actually remembers me, so, you know, he, he, you know, reintroduced himself as Danny, and, um, I was like, oh, you're Danny from Ridge Park, because then I started to remember him, you know, so, then, by the way, I'm sorry if you heard that, I, like, I'm directly next to a bathroom, so, you know, hopefully you guys didn't hear the toilet flush, anyways, so, <laughs> Danny reintroduced himself as Danny from Ridge Park, I, I reintroduced myself as Jaden from Ridge Park, we were in the same class, and then we connected instantly, you know, um, like, back how it was in third grade, and I was like, yo, this is really dope, you know, so, we connected, and, you know, he had, like, his little group of friends in summer camp, but then I, you know, I kind of meshed in with them, you know, and then after 10th grade was when I came back to, uh, PW, the brick and mortar again, so, I came back to the brick and mortar, and, you know, I would sit with him at, like, lunch, because we had the same lunch schedule, but we didn't have any classes then, but then the second semester came about, and I took this class, uh, integrated math four, something like that, and he was in that class, so, it was really nice, because, but it, it, it sucked, too, because I was a grade above him, because, you know, the whole thing with online school, I was great above him, but we took the same class, right, so it was really nice, but at the same time, I knew that, you know, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna be there for only two years while he was, you know, still a sophomore, as I was a junior, you know, like, I was gonna be a grade above him, you know, that whole time, I was gonna graduate, you know, before he did, like, in my mind, I was thinking, you know, I kind of want to, like, and, <laughs> That's why I said in the other video, so I'll explain. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, I should probably be held back if I want to graduate with the rest of my friends, right? So, that's why in 11th grade, um, I didn't think about it then, but, like, it was in the summer of 11th grade. So, after I finished 11th grade, after I took that class with Danny, and, you know, we became, like, really close friends, um, you know, I was thinking, that summer, I was like, maybe I should get held back. So, in the middle of... So, then 12th grade happens, and, um, you know, I, I specifically take classes, like, we, we, uh, planned it out, like, I was taking classes that he was taking, you know, like, even though it kind of hurt me academically, I was taking classes that he was taking, because I want to be with my friends, like, I didn't want to be a senior taking classes with seniors that I don't know, you know, like, I don't know y'all, I hate y'all, <laughs> I don't hate them, but it's like, get away from me, you know, um, you know, and, and so I take classes with him and the rest of my friends, and I'm like, this is dope, you know, this is completely dope, you know, and that's when I, the end, it was, no, 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 it was the end of the first semester, 
when I asked my counselor to be held back. And obviously she was like, no, because I had, I had a pretty decent GPA. Um, I had a good SAT. I had a 1260. Your boy had a 1260. That's, I think that's all right. I didn't really study. I did not study for it. Um, your boy had a 1260 and um, I had a 3.6. So she was like, no, it's probably best for you to actually go to college because, she, she, I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but she was like, It'd be a waste of, you know, your good academic record, right? I'm paraphrasing. That's not what she said. She was definitely way nicer than that. But, you know, so, you know, I was kind of sad that she wouldn't allow me to get held back. So I was like, all right, Danny, well, that's that's what it's going to be. I'm going to have to. It, was, it wasn't just Danny, because at the time it was Danny, Timmy, Evan, Sung Young, you know, it was really, it was, <laughs> it was the friend group was weird. It was one black kid one white kid, three of his Asian friends, so I guess that's not weird, but it's, it's just different, you know, um, so they didn't allow me to get held back, but, you know, so, what I'm trying to get at is that, it's weird because we, he was the first person that I ever, like, talked to in, when I first came into the school district, and then he was the last person I ever talked to when I left the school district, and he was the last person for sure, because I remember, so 11th grade is when I, you know, started um, acquiring these uh, focal seizures, and it wasn't terrible back, actually, no, it was actually at, at its worst, in hindsight, um, like, when it first began, I didn't even know it was a seizure, I thought I was, like, daydreaming, but then after it started, like, continuing to happen, and day after day after day, I was like, okay, there's something going on. Right? So, you know, I found out they were focal seizures. And th this is when, like, I used to have one, and then I'd go to sleep for, like, four hours, you know? Like, I'd be, I would, like, wake up, like, is it tomorrow? And it'd be, like, 6 in the, it would be, like, 6, um, 6 p.m., you know? So, yeah, so, um, with that being said, in 12th grade, um, I remember I had, I was signing up for tennis, second year tennis, and I remember I had, like, five seizures in, like, one, in, like, the span of, like, six minutes, and all of my Asian friends were laughing at me, I'm not, I mean, it's not the fact that they were Asian, it's just, out of the friend group, the three Asian friends were laughing at me, right, it was Timmy, Evan, and Sung Young, they were laughing at me, right, as I was actually having a seizure, but Danny wasn't, right, it was like he actually cared for me, right, so that's why I was like, I was really mad at them for laughing at me, because I'm like, dude, this is literally my house, but you know, Danny wasn't, that's why I was like, all right, Danny, Danny's a real one, right, so that's when I started talking to him more, and less, I was talking less with my Asian friends, um, okay, it's not the fact that they're Asian, it's just the fact that they happen to be Asian in the friend group. Um, I started talking less to them, you know. Um, and, you know, ever since, I was like, wow. You know, like, it's a shame that I'm going to graduate. I wish we would have graduated in the same year, you know. Um, like I said, you know, that's why he was, he was the first person I ever talked to on in, in the school district. And then he happened to be the last person. You know, and I still talk to him to this day because... Like, he's one of my best friends. Like, you know, to know, like, it's like it's not like I asked him to, to, like, not laugh at me. Because, honestly, we were trash human beings. Like, when you're in high school, you're extremely ignorant, right? Like, you're ignorant, right? At least the men are. I don't know. Well, no, the women are just as ignorant. Because I, I remember, I'm not about to talk about that. But everybody's just ignorant when you're a teenager, right? I'm saying this still as a 17-year-old, right? Like, I make my mistakes still. But in high school, you're extremely, like, it, it's like you're uber ignorant, you know? And, you know, it's, I kind of expected them to laugh. Like, I'm not going to lie. I expected them to laugh. But, you know, when it's when it's you that's going through it, it, like, it hurts, right? But I didn't expect Danny to not laugh. So when he didn't, it was like, wow, he must actually care for me. So... That's when I, you know, I started to respect him more, you know? Um, and so, 
I, I guess I, I spoke too much on like the exposition of it. But the reason why, one of the reasons why, like he's my best, he's one of my best friends is like we like, like we complement each other so well. Like I'm, I'm saying this, I feel like this is a little too uh, passionate. Is that the word for like male relationships? So. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is the fact that so we started talking again the end of 10th grade right and he has like this really weird um not necessarily weird but he uh he doesn't know how to really talk to other people either and neither do neither did I at the time but as I started to talk to him more that's when I kind of got back into the swing of things so then a lot of like my lingo got off on him and a lot of his lingo like got off on me. That's why like I began to talk like extremely differently uh, when I was around like, you know, my, my friend group and when, like when I was around his family, you know, like it was just it, it was really interesting. Like and I, I, I recognize that a lot of like like a lot of not my culture per se, but a lot of like what I say, what he began to say, you know. And, like, a lot of my humor rubbed off on him, and a lot of his humor rubbed off on me. Like, it's just, like, we, we, like, we complimented each other real well, you know? Um, and, you know, he put me on to a lot of stuff. Like, I got back into anime at the end of, like, high school. Um, you know, because he's, like, a huge anime. Like, he's a dweeb, honestly. Um, he, I, I don't understand. Like, he likes anime way too much, I think. Um... But, you know, it's, you know, he's still, he's still one of our best friends. Um, and another thing is that, what was it? I remember <laughs> it was, uh, it was when I was, um, for some reason I felt the need to talk to him about, uh, when, when I was, uh, going through it with, uh, Kat. I wasn't even going through it. It was the fact that, you know, I just, I didn't understand it, right? Because, I don't know if I ever said this, but I might have. But, no, I definitely did. I definitely did. It was about the um, the Halloween dance. She asked me to go to the Halloween dance, right? For some reason, I said no. I'm such a dumb, like, dude. How do I, how do I mess that up? She literally asked me to go to the dance, right? I said no. It was, how do you mess that up? Like, literally, you know? But, I, I need to get over it, obviously. But, <laughs> um, you know, at the time, I said no. And obviously, I felt so stupid. And then, you know, after the whole Halloween dance thing happened, I remember it was junior prom. Yeah, it was junior. It was definitely junior prom because I was a junior. Um. And you know, I was talking to him like, should I ask her to a dance or something? Um, and I was, I was uh, at the time, yeah, yeah, because eleventh grade was when I started playing tennis as well. That's when I first. That was my first year of tennis, and I remember me and me and him were you know swinging, and I remember Cat and one of her friends were around like they were running around the course, and she goes. Hi, Jalen. I'm like, yo, that's her, right? And then I go text her. I'm like, just to make sure I'm like, was that you that said hi to me at the tennis courts? And she goes, no, right? As if it, as if it, as if it never happened. So then I go to, I go to ask Danny, like, am I tripping or is she being like weird, right? And so, you know, he, he tries to help me out. But the thing is, you know, I kind of know that he, he obviously just never talked to women ever. <laughs> um, that's not shade, Danny P. If you uh, end up watching this, but you know, like I can just you can't. It's not that I can kind of tell. It's just I think he's openly said it. So, anyways, this water crazy. I don't know if you can see this. It says smart water. By the way, I said that like I talk to women. I don't even talk to women like that. But it's uh, smart water is green tea. I think my my sister brought down green tea. Um, or she gave green tea to my mom one of these times, 
and I've been drinking it ever since. Green tea is amazing. Uh, let me take another swig real quick. So, um, I'm saying this really all to say to, I guess, summarize, make a long story short. Um, this man, Danny, is, you know, because I've moved so much. I've never really had a stagnant relationship with a friend, right? But this man, Danny, I could say is probably one of my best friends of all time, you know? Like, I still keep up with him to this day. Like, he's about to go off to college. Like, I was legitimately going to ask him if he wanted to go to college here at uh, Cheney. The thing is, is that he's white, you know? And he's not, like, the white person from, like, North Carolina, like, from North Philly. You know, he's, like, a white person from Plymouth Meeting. So it's, like, he won't mix with anybody, you know? Except for, like, the black people that are from, like, Plymouth Meeting. Or, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even from Plymouth Meeting. I ain't say that. I, for, I wish I never said that. But he'll mix in well with like the anime kids, but he won't. He won't mix in with anybody else, because the whole school is you know full of black people from like North Philly. You know, um, there's a couple anime kids, but you know, not too much. You know, but I was like legitimately gonna ask him that because I would love for us to still be with each other. Mm, that sounds weird. Not, like, in that type of way, but, you know, like, still hang with each other, right? But, you know, he's going to go off to college, and I wish him the best of luck. Um, you know, but, yeah, no, Danny is for sure one of my best friends. Um, yeah, yeah, he is, he's that man, for sure. So, uh, Danny, if you ever watch this, do not tell me because, you know, I do not need to know you be watching my videos because that's weird. (laughs) Um, if you do watch this, though, love you. Um, and yeah, um, you know, have a good, uh, four years in college and, uh, text me, call me. I don't know, maybe we could hang out. I don't know. Once you get a car, pick me up. Because I can't, you know, with my epilepsy, I can't drive. So, you got to pick me up. I'll pay for the gas money. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm really just rambling. Anyways, peace.